Welcome to Mainstream Moto. I'm Mike. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the built storm gear, the pants and the jacket. First, let's answer the make it or break it question. How does it do in the rain? Check out this video of riding up in Glacier Park. Uh, I got caught in the rain. Actually, I started chasing it anyway. So uh, check this out and then we'll start going over things like um, the comfortability overall a uh, view of the gears like pockets and vents and things like that. See you in a minute. Every review that you find about this, this storm gear, they say, just like the name implies, it can withstand any storm you come across. Well, we'll see about that. It stopped raining. What do I gotta do, turn around? We're gonna pull over at the next turn and find out where the rain went. Well, there's the wind. Man, it's starting to hail. I don't feel wet at all. Some of my gear, uh, I would have been soaked by now. I think I'm gonna pull over here somewhere and reattach my camera. Let's try that. It's still raining pretty good. Yeah, this is good. It's raining good now. There's a lot of water on the road. Should have left my camera on my helmet. The road just looked like water. It didn't even look like a road. Yeah, I've been basically, I mean, I can't say it's been like solid rain for the last hour, but it hasn't been like sunshine or high speeds. Like I haven't dried out. Yeah, so keep in mind that I actually don't have any of the liners in right now. This is strictly just the outer shell, which is the, which is the best part. Some of those, some of that gear, you buy it and they say, oh yeah, it's waterproof as long as you have the inside liner. And I don't want my, my the outside of my jacket to be completely soaked and then just basically have a trash bag between, between me and the jacket. Because what if it's hot out? You don't want to leave that hot liner in, yet it's going to rain. It doesn't make sense. Of course, it doesn't really make sense to wear this in the heat either, because this is cold weather gear. But I don't know what the temperature is. I would be willing to bet it's maybe 50. And I'm not particularly warm, I guess. Like, I'm, I'm not miserable. I'm not like shivering and shaking. But I am a little cooler. I already know it does good in the cold days though. I have my liner with me though, so I'll throw it on as soon as we get to the entrance of the park again. So I ride a Suzuki V-Strom and it doesn't offer great wind and rain protection, but it's not, uh, it's not the worst either. It's not like a naked bike or anything. And so it's kind of a, a middle ground as far as how much you're going to get wet on that bike. Um, and because there's so many variables as to how long you're planning on riding with it, I don't know if you're going to be commuting with it. I don't know if you're going to go touring with uh, this gear or what, um, because of all those variables, I can't really tell you if it's going to work for you or not. What I can tell you is well, how I'm going to use it. Basically, if I'm going to be going on a trip for any more than a day where I may not know what the weather's going to do, I'm packing my legit rain gear with me 
just to be safe. If I'm just leaving for the day and there's, there's any, any less than 80% chance of rain, I'm probably just going to stick with this. I won't pack my rain gear. If it says it's going to be 100% chance of rain, I'm going to pack my rain gear. Uh, but overall, this actually does the job. Uh, I would definitely bring the liners because it does help you warm up. Um, but I, I wouldn't just trust that this is going to be um, 100% rainproof. I did get a little bit uh, wet around the stomach area as well as on my knees. I'm not going to use the word wet. I'm actually going to use the word damp. And having the liners in would have helped a little bit with that, but still somehow water did get through. And so because of that, if I know I'm going to be riding in a lot of rain, I'm going to bring my rain gear. Uh, but if I'm just going out for a day or something and, I'm, and we're probably going to run into, you know, hit and miss rain or whatever, this is going to do the job great. One thing to keep in mind if you're looking to buying this is this is cold weather gear. So if you're looking for gear that you can wear year round and it gets over 70 degrees where you live, um, this is going to be too hot after 70 degrees or so. And so if you're, if you're looking for something that's just, you know, kind of seasonal, this is a good option. Uh, but it's not like your one set of gear that you can wear in zero degrees as well as a hundred degrees. And so keep that in mind if uh, you're, you're wanting to buy this. So let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, you know, some of the pockets, some of the venting and the overall uh, build of this gear. We'll start with the front zipper. It zips up very easily. The storm flap on the front keeps a lot of the rain out. With several snaps, the next strap is Velcro with a nice soft part on the front so you don't scratch your neck. As for pockets, it has an interior pocket. Well as two outside pockets that are fairly large and completely waterproof. It has some lower pockets with zippers and on the back it has a large pouch which can easily fit a pair of gloves or anything else you want to put in there. It has a strap around the waist so you can cinch it down to keep it from flapping around. The strap goes all the way around the jacket. It also has adjustment on the very bottom of the jacket. It has two vents in the front to help keep cool when the sun comes out, as well as two vents on the shoulders that have snaps that keep those shoulders vents open. It has a vent under each arm. Being on the bottom of the arm, it helps keep a lot of the rain out. And along the back, this is an exhaust vent to help get that heat out, which can be held down with the snaps. Forearms have a three snap adjustment to keep the jacket from flapping around. The wrists also have a Velcro adjustment so that you can make sure that it stays tight around your gloves. The liner is very easy to install or remove. Unzip the zippers on each side and it will come out. The zipper allows it to also be worn as a regular sweatshirt.
It also has a couple of pockets. You can throw your keys in there or whatever. On the bottom of the jacket, it has a zipper that attaches to the pants to keep the jacket from riding up or the pants from falling down. I haven't actually had a need for this though. The jacket has stayed put when I wear it. The pants have a rear pocket. as well as two pockets in the front. The front fly has a zipper, a Velcro strap, as well as two snaps on the top to keep it secure. It also has adjustment straps on the top, so if you're layering up, or just wearing a pair of pants under it, it's easily adjustable. The liner comes out of the pants very easily. You just unzip the top zipper that goes all the way around. And the top is completely free to remove. The only thing holding it in are the Velcro strips that attach it on the inside of the pants. As you can see, there's several of them. These Velcro strips keep the liner secure to the outer shell. The zippers on the pants are really nice because they zip all the way up to the top. This makes it very easy to get the pants on when you have your boots on already. It also has a storm flap and a velcro strip that goes down the entire length of the pants without any gap. The bottom ends with a velcro strap to keep it tight around your boots. And that's it. Now I bought this when it's on sale and to tell you the truth, this is always on sale. It's definitely worth it when it goes on sale. Uh, I'll put the prices on the screen here uh, to let you know what I paid for them and what was in the last catalog that they were going for. So that's my review of the Built Storm gear. Uh, I hope it was informational if you're uh, looking to buy this. I hope it uh, helped you out a little bit. If you want to see Glacier Park with the sun shining, um, click on the Glacier Park uh, Montana Moto video. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a pretty nice video, and uh, let me know what you thought about it. So that's it for me, and I will see you later. Bye. What? If you watch Moto Geo, that... <laughs> I, I love the way that they do their videos. I love his accent too. He's just like, the road was great and the scenery was breathtaking. The fall colors were a thing of beauty. <laughs> I just love the way he talks. <laughs> I don't even know if that sounds like him. Another thumbs up. I love it. Moto Geo.